Hi everyone, today I have a quick lunge slider challenge for you. If you're short on time but just want to get the blood pumping, this is a great one to do. Or maybe you want a finisher to a longer workout. Look no further. If you come to my B-Tone class in Boston or you're just a fan of megaformer workouts in general, you are going to recognize these movements and you are going to love this one. For equipment, all you're going to need is a slider or if you have a hardwood floor, you could use a dish towel and that is what I am going to use. Optional would be a set of light hand weights, so anywhere between one and five pounds. We're just going to add in some upper body movement while we focus on the lunge challenge. These are totally optional. You can do it just body weight and slider if you'd like. Here's how it's going to work. We are going to go for three and a half minutes straight, nonstop, no rest, each leg. I'll let you rest in between legs. The movements are all based off of a sliding back lunge. So we'll start with the back lunge, we'll hold low, we'll add in some secondary movements, pulses, go back to the full range lunge, adding in a twist, more holds, more pulses. I will guide you through it all. I'm gonna give you a quick preview of the sequence so you know what to expect, but I'm also gonna guide you through it real time and we'll have a clock going so that you know how long you were in each of the different movements. It's gonna be challenging, but it's low impact. You're sliding around, there's no jumping, it's nice for the joints. So I'm not gonna show you modifications. Your best way to modify would be to one, ditch the weights, forget about those, and two, just stop as needed instead of doing the whole three and a half minutes straight. That being said, unless you are purposely modifying, your goal is to go continuous for the whole three and a half minutes. So we really wanna build up that burn. Maybe you start to feel a little shaky and not until the end of those three and a half minutes, will we rest. As with all workouts, you wanna make sure you're properly warmed up beforehand, always listen to your body, modifying or stopping as needed. If you're new to my channel, I don't play music in the background because I want you to be able to listen to whatever you like. So if you wanna get music or a TV show queued up, I would do that. And with all that said, I'm gonna get to the preview of the sequence and then we'll get right to it. Okay, so it doesn't matter what leg you start on. I'm gonna start on my left leg though. So if you wanna stay on the same side as me, let's do left leg first. So left foot will be forward and we'll have just the ball of the right foot on our slider or our towel. 15 seconds and we're gonna get started. Hips are square, so I want you to slide the right hip forward in line with the left and weight is gonna stay in this front left heel. We're gonna start with a back lunge with a raise with these weights. Let's go in three, two, one. <laughs> And we're lowering down, arms reach over headlong, spine, and back up to the top. So notice, I'm keeping a pitch forward with my torso the whole time. My shoulders are over the front knee, not over my hips. This lean forward is going to keep weight in the front target heel, and it's going to help me stay light through that back foot. 20 seconds in, you have 25 seconds to go. Your back foot should be so light that it could almost feel like you could take it off of that slider and nothing would change. In 15 seconds, we're gonna hold it low and we're gonna come into a split lunge hinge. You're gonna meet me down at the bottom, chest is open, slide those shoulder blades down your back, knit your ribs together. We find that low lunge and now from here, we're gonna bend that back knee, arms to the ceiling. You're gonna straighten that back leg and you're gonna pitch your torso forward over the front knee. So the slider isn't moving and I'm not straightening out this left leg. I'm hinging forward over it and lifting up, 15 seconds to go. Don't dump too much weight into that back right foot. It's staying in that front left heel. We're gonna hold upright and we are gonna pulse it out in three, two, hold the split lunge and it's a little pulse down and up, down and up. Hips are staying level to the floor. So pick your right hip up an inch, sit lower on the left. 
We're going to hinge forward with that torso and we're going to go into a knee slide. So hinging forward, you're going to now slide the back knee in, roll the arms in, out, and then as you straighten the leg, punch those weights forward. Whew. Almost out of this hold. You got it. Stay low. Left knee stacked over left heel. Over halfway there. We're going to come back to the full range lunge. This time we're going to add in a torso twist. That's in just about five seconds. Stay with it. Light, light, light through that right foot. Okay, back leg stays straight. We're rising up to the top. Next time you lower down, you're going to twist right elbow towards left knee and slowly bring it, bring it back up. 45 seconds here. As you twist, you're hinging forward through the torso, keeping the elbows wide. If, it's you, if you have tight shoulders and it's uncomfortable having your elbows wide like this, just bring your hands into heart center. I still want you to do the torso twist, but you can bring the arms in. Make sure your knee isn't wobbling inwards as you do the twist. So think of kind of spiraling the thigh open, knees track in line with the middle toes. Oh, we're going to hold it low. We got that back slide, adding in that twist. So you're still twisting, but now we're just holding low on the left side. And again, you can bring your weights in to heart center if it's uncomfortable having them wide. Hold low. Big lean forward with that torso. You got it. We are so close to being done with this leg. Twist and back out. Stay low. We're coming into a hold up next. Big hinge forward. We're going to extend the arms behind us. Back leg will be straight. In three, two, hold low. Airplane your arms behind you. All right, now we're going to go into a warrior three hold. So I want you to start shifting your weight forward. Get lighter and lighter through that back foot. Knit your ribs in. Try to keep your hips square to the floor. Soft bend to that left knee. Whoop! As I fall, we hold for three, two, one. Done. Whew, shake out that left leg. All right, so you have a little while to recover here, and we're just going to repeat that sequence on the right leg. Okay, second side's always a little more challenging because we already burnt out that supporting leg. That's why I wanted to save my dominant side, the right side, for second. So if you're on the same side as me, right foot forward, ball of the left foot on that slider, lift your back left heel up high, square your hips. We're going in that back lunge with the overhead raise in three, in two, and one. Let's go. Lowering down, arms reach overhead, slowly lift up to the top. Weight is in that right heel. We have a big lean forward, long spine, chest is staying open. At any point, if the weights get to be too much, just ditch them. They are secondary or just hold them at heart center. Now, when you hit the bottom, I want you to notice where your weight is. If you have a lot of weight in that back foot, I need you to get a little lighter with it. So when you push up, the push is all that right heel bringing you to the top. We have our first hold coming up. We got that split lunge hinge. Meet me at the bottom in three, two. So meet me low. Start with this big exaggerated hinge forward with your torso. Now as you bend that back left knee, lift your chest up, arms to the ceiling. You straighten out that back leg, pitching forward. So there is no movement of the slider, but it should be a little bit of a challenge to hold it in place. So don't let that back foot slide around, tilting forward, lifting up. If you need to tone it down a notch, do it with your weights at heart center, Woo, instead of overhead. We're coming into pulses. You're going to meet me with that chest lifted, pulse down and up. We're keeping our hips level to the floor. So I want you to actually pick your left hip up an inch. Make sure the pulse happens on the right, down and up. You got it. We're not off the hook, we're still in the hold. We got those back slides coming up in three, two, lean it forward as you pull your back knee in, drive the elbows back. So it's a reach and pull through the arms as your back knee slides in and out. Wiggle your right toes for me, make sure weight is in the heel. Knee is stacked over that heel. Halfway there. If you're not in your lowest lunge on that right side, now's the time to sink one inch lower. Pull and extend. Coming back to that full range lunge, we're going to add in a torso twist in three, two, one, elbows wide. So we come up center, the twist happens on the way down, and it's going to be left elbow to right knee. So opposite elbow to that front knee, and up to the top. Twist. When you twist, don't let this front knee start to wobble inward, okay? So knee is tracking in line with your middle toes the whole time. Woo, 
Ooh, getting a little shaky over here. You have 15 more seconds. We got that hold coming up. It's gonna be those same back knee slides, but we're gonna keep the torso twist as we go. Mimi low in three, two, one. So as that knee pulls in, you twist and come back to center. Big lean forward with the torso. Core is active, weight in that right heel, and you're as light through your back left toes as possible. 15 in, 15 to go. Again, you can always bring your hands to heart center, but I still want you to add in that torso twist, okay? Twisting to the side, back through center. We're coming into that hold, okay? We're gonna start in the long jump and release that back foot in three, two, one. All right, start in your low lunge, square your hips. Extend your arms back behind you. Now start to pitch forward. We get lighter and lighter through that back foot. Maybe it lifts off the floor. If it doesn't, that's okay. Core is active. Don't lock out your right knee. Pull your left hip down in line with the right. You got it, chest stays broad. Hold, whoo, as I fall. Three, two, one, done. Awesome work. So again, this is a great quick burn or a good finisher if you've done a longer lower body workout today. Um, but if you do want more, just start this from the beginning and repeat it again. Hope you enjoyed this quick lunging challenge. If you did, you know the drill. Give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to my channel. I will see you guys next week with another workout.